Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Welcome if you're new. My name is Jenna and I'm going to be giving you guys a 28 week third trimester pregnancy update now that we are kind of you know a little bit further on like I've done a 20 week and now I'm gonna do a couple more because then I can look back on this in the future because this is our last baby since we will then have two girls and two boys and it just seems perfect so i'm really excited i have some questions here that i was asked on instagram as well so we'll kind of like mix those in but today i had an appointment and it went well i actually did the glucose test so i don't have my results yet i'll go ahead and post like down below because i get to find out my results tomorrow if I did indeed pass or if I failed and have to do the three hour test. So this time around, they totally changed it. The first, like not the first, my other three pregnancies, like all I did was take a grape juice home, like a Welch's grape juice, like this big, have to chug it within five minutes, an hour before my appointment or like 45 minutes before, get to my appointment, tell them, hey, my hour is up at this time. They come in, prick my finger, get my results, I'm good to go this time around is totally different uh so what i had to do was i got no juice and the thing that's really weird is earlier in this pregnancy like at my first appointment they gave me juice that i would have to take for my second appointment because i was considered overweight yeah by two pounds and i think it was like two pounds it was literally like a pound or two where i was considered overweight at the start of my pregnancy which whatever that's a whole thing and so they gave me the juice and i had to take it around that time so i was like in my first almost out of my first trimester i think i was maybe just in my second and i passed it fine and so it was just really strange that i did it that way the first time and then this way i had to go in i picked between three juices i did the fruit punch and I sit there chug it in front of the nurse within five minutes it was disgusting it was so sugary oh my gosh he was going nuts in my belly <laughs> like he was just all over the place kicking and making me sick yeah i mean i was already sick like sick you know nauseous sick but i was getting more nauseous because of him kicking drank the juice and i had my appointment and then i had to wait until the hour was up get my blood drawn which I don't do the greatest at, but I didn't pass out, so that's good. But I did feel a little weird afterwards. Like I had a headache and I just felt really tired. And so then I made sure that I ate and stuff. And I'm feeling much better now that I've ate and I got to kind of like chill after getting my blood drawn for a second. Uh, it was good that I had Zach with me and stuff because yeah, I just, I couldn't have done it by myself. There's just no way. And I was at the doctor's office for an hour and and a half yeah it was a little over an hour and a half like an hour and 40 minutes i would have to say and that's a really long time navy would have not done well and so i get my results tomorrow so i'll let you guys know down in the bottom here if i passed or not fingers crossed that i passed so i don't have to take the three hour test because i don't have time for that i am now gonna start having my appointments every two weeks it was every four now it's every two until i'm 34 weeks and then it's every week after that which is crazy i'm already at the point where it's every two weeks i'm going and i'm in my third trimester it is so so insane to me i am so excited though but i love this time of the year with the holidays so i'm trying to slow down like i love thanksgiving i love christmas all the christmas festivities but once christmas is over and as soon as it's january 1st i'm gonna be like okay i'm ready like I'm excited for him to be here already. Oh my gosh, yeah. I'm just so excited. I love babies. I love the newborn stage. Like if my pregnancies were not so rough, I'd have like eight kids. I'm not kidding. I would have eight kids. I would because I just love babies and I love kids and I love like I always wanted a big family and I now I have that. But I've been feeling fairly good. Uh, I did have two migraines. Uh, the last time I had a migraine was early last week or the weekend and the time before that was two or three weeks so i've had two and i've been feeling good i am going to the chiropractor here in like in a couple minutes i actually have to leave after this trying to get all my stuff done in one day and that's for because my sciatica is messed up and then my neck and all the things so i'm trying to go there every other week and also you know basically go and i get my allergy shot every three weeks and then 
my OBGYN appointment every two weeks now. So I feel like I'm literally at a doctor's office all the time. And then I have the kids dentist appointments coming up. That was just a total ramp, but I just feel like I'm just whew, busy with the regular, add in all of the appointments. Like it's a lot. It is a lot, but I've been feeling okay. I did throw up this morning though. I am still on my anti-nausea and vomiting medication. Um, so nauseous all day long. The medication does help and I kind of just am used to the feeling. You know, this is my sixth pregnancy, fourth baby, but my, my pregnancies with my kids are the only, like my living kids. That sounds really bad, but with my miscarriages that I ended up having, I was never nauseous or sick like I never ever felt that way but with my kids like I have so it's kind of like anyways that's that's totally different but I have been feeling okay I've just been tired uh, some days are really good where I have a lot of energy and I feel good and then some days are not great before I forget I am gonna show you guys a bump update even though I kind of do like in every video but this is a pregnancy update so I'll share with you guys a bump view if I can but here we go yep there he is he feels like a little low right now but here's the that stuff you know oh. here's a little bump view this is might be a little bit of a better angle but the shirt it's a little hard you know he is very active he moves a lot in all the different places like I mean up high to the sides down low like he's everywhere moving all the time and I can't wait until my next ultrasound where I get to see him again um, I won't have an ultrasound either until I'm 34 or 36 weeks I usually they usually say 36 but I have usually get mine at 34 because my kids have been bigger like the last time they did do mine early because of Navy and I got it at 34 weeks and she was born uh, a little bit before I was 39 weeks so she was born when I was 38 weeks pregnant she was nine pounds two ounces Maverick was 715 and then uh, Savannah was 812 so I'm kind of <laughs> I'm kind of like oh, I don't know what he's gonna be I mean I do weigh less this pregnancy and I'm healthier because I am working out and I do feel overall I have to say a lot better I think my worst pregnancy was Navy I was so bad with Navy I think it was because I was very overweight when I got pregnant with her and I was so oh my gosh I was so sick like I was vomiting all day every day all the time and I just kind of get sick in the mornings now like in my first trimester probably up until like 18 weeks I was throwing up all throughout the day with the with this baby but with Navy it was all the time it was really really rough so I'm gonna have to say this pregnancy is a little bit easier this time around in some ways than with Navy. Um, obviously, so I'm gonna say Savannah's was the easiest because she was my first and I had no other kids and so I could relax and take naps whenever I wanted. And so it's a little bit different, obviously, with your second, your third, and your fourth. But he moves around a lot and I love feeling him kick. Everybody has felt him kick. Savannah has, Zach has, Maverick has, Navy even did because she was kind of like on my stomach and he kicked her and she looked at my stomach like, what in the heck just happened? Because he kicked her off of him. My mom though has not felt him kick and she has came over twice trying to get him to kick. And <laughs> so she'll put her hand there and then she'll move it and then he'll start moving. I'm like, okay, right here. And then he'll stop. And she kept her hand there for like 20 minutes, excuse me, indigestion, and he would not move. And then she moved her hand and then he finally moved. Like it was, it was pretty funny. He's, he is stubborn. Uh, we also do have a name picked out. Fun well, so we have had a name picked out, but we just haven't been, like we love it. We love, well, this was our situation. We loved the name that we had picked out, but we were like, okay, well, we're still like, you know, we're open to things. So we were looking at other names and we loved the name, but we couldn't decide what we wanted to start it with, what letter to spell it. And so now we're pretty like, this is what it's going to be. So we feel po like positive. We are confirmed that that is going to be his name, which is exciting. I don't know if I'm going to share it. I think I'm going to wait until he's born to share his name, actually, just for fun. I think that would be, I don't know, something different anyways, because... I shared with Maverick when I was kind of filming, uh, like I was filming a little bit when I was pregnant with him 
but the navy I did share and so I'm just gonna wait until he's born so you guys can have a name reveal and it'll be really fun uh, I do want to answer some questions um, I did answer the one uh, someone asked if I was still sick every day and then someone asked like am I still having morning sickness and so that's like the same question and so yes and no um, today yeah I had a really bad morning episode of throwing up thankfully before I ate so it wasn't as bad uh, it just it just depends how I start my morning and my that's just what I think how are you feeling this pregnancy versus last ones kind of answered that with how I was comparing all of them I'd say this one isn't my hardest uh, I just say I'm very I'm more tired this time around just because of having three kids and two in school one home with me all the time and just constantly on the go with extracurricular just just busy with life and YouTube work and such it's a lot but it's okay I like the chaos and the busyness and I just try to embrace it you know that's all you can do you can just embrace it uh, is Navy excited to be a big sister Navy is so excited okay Navy loves babies loves babies all babies she sees a baby she sees a car seat doesn't see the baby but sees a car seat baby like she's obsessed she wants to see the baby and I I know what it's like to be on the other side of that like you don't want kids you don't know coming up to your baby like especially because you don't know if they're sick or germs you know what I mean like you just don't want that and there's a lot of babies at Maverick school like when they drop off so I always tell her cut so no navy we can't go up to the people's babies and so she has all of her baby dolls she likes seeing baby pictures of any baby home videos she likes watching babies she's so excited I'm gonna have to baby wear a lot though because she is gonna be loving him so much and it's just so crazy because Navy is only gonna be, I think three months, yeah, she's gonna be three months older than what Maverick was when she was born. So Maverick and Navy are 20 months apart and Navy and this baby are going to be 23 months apart. So very close in age and it's just really interesting to see the difference because Maverick is, still is just such a mommy's boy, but he was just kinda like, eh, there's a baby, you know what I mean? Like. We tried to prepare him he saw other babies he did not care like he wasn't super into it so i don't know if it's like a boy versus girl thing but this time around he's very excited he's going to be having a brother he keeps asking when's baby boy coming out when's he coming out and i keep saying two months two months he says okay and so he just he's very excited to have a brother savannah of course is very excited she loves babies she said i will not be changing any diapers <laughs> which we don't we don't have her do that anyways but she's seen movies and she's like i'm not changing any diapers and it's just really funny though so uh, the Navy is they're all very excited for the baby and I'm so excited to see them all be big siblings especially Navy even though the other two already are names you love but won't be using <sighs> okay I will share a couple so I will say baby boy's name fits with the theme of the other kids names the other kids names have a V in them not starting with a V like Savannah Maverick Navy this baby will as well so I'll share with you guys the names that don't have a V in them that I love okay so my absolute favorite name that I would name the reason why I was sticking with the theme too is because like I'm so OCD that if one out of the three didn't have like a theme I would feel so bad and be like okay I need to have another kid so then it's like three versus two and I don't know it just really drives me nuts and so we didn't mean to do a theme with the first two but we noticed that when we were pregnant with Navy and we love the name Navy so much that we were like, okay, we'll just do it. And yeah, so we're, we're with the V theme in the middle of the name. Uh, so I love the name Brooks. I think Brooks is so cute. Oh my gosh. I, I would, that's like my, one of my favorite name without the V in it. I really like that name. Hold on. I have a whole note thing on here of my favorite names without a V in them. Um, I really liked Maxwell. I thought that was super cute. Uh, I liked Xander, uh, Colton, Brooks, I already said Brooks, and I liked Dawson, and that was kind of it. And, and then my also thought was we also thought about doing like a Zach Jr., but we would have done that for Maverick. So 
if we didn't like Maverick, Maverick's name was going to be Zachary Jr., but we decided to not do that. We really loved the name Maverick, hence why his name is Maverick. But those are just a couple of boy names that we love, that we will not be using. Brooks is like my favorite, though. It's just so cute. I don't know if it would go with our last name, but it's just, it's so cute. I love it. Uh, labor prep and freezing meals for postpartum. So, um... <laughs> I don't know if I'm like the only one that hasn't done this, uh, but we've never done freezer meals for any of our kids. Like we just, we just never have. We are the type of people where what sounds good the day of or the day before, it's kind of what we go with. Um, we've also never like received meals from people. Like we've had people bring like food over and be like hey we're gonna stop at this restaurant what food do you want we'll bring it over and they come see the baby like so we've had that we haven't had anyone bring us food though like a meal so i don't have anything like in my freezer for that uh but i just pretty much make sure that we have a fully stocked fridge like when i'm about like 37 38 weeks like i make sure i do a really big grocery haul so we have lots of stuff and i don't have to worry about it Granted, I do do grocery pickup order, so, you know, that kind of helps with the whole situation of having food. Uh, but, yeah, that's just kind of, yeah, what we do. A uh, labor prep. So, I do have a lot of stuff left over from Navy, and then I also have some stuff for my best friend. She had her baby last March, and she gave me some of her, like, adult diapers and stuff that she had, and so she gave me those. So, I have do have some of that stuff. And you guys will see. I'll do like a what's in my hospital bag video. Um, I'll probably post that and get that packed after Christmas. So, because at Christmas time, I'm going to be like 35 weeks. So, I'm probably going to do it after New Year's. I will pack my bag and have it there at 36 weeks. So, then it's done. I don't have to worry about it. Everything's there and i'll be prepared i'll feel really good about that there's still two th there's still like i still need to get a bringing home outfit for the baby and i have an idea on etsy so i want to do that because i mean i might make it i just need to decide what i want to do and then i'll just make it and do be be good that way um we'll just kind of see what i end up doing but yeah that's pretty much it i answered a lot of people's questions with just saying how i'm doing and how i'm feeling how everything is and answering if this is our last baby because a lot of people ask that I had like three of those on here asking if this is our last baby and he is because we'll have two and two we'll be good to go four kids and my body my body can't do it anymore like I I mean I know I'm still young but I feel like I it's just it's just getting more it's getting harder with the more kids you have and the older you get and I am just really ready to just focus on my health like I, I, I really did last year and so I really want to just focus on my health feeling good and getting down to a healthy weight and just I don't know just living life with my kids like I I it's very hard to arrange your life around pregnancies because I've been pregnant every single year since 2016 I mean my kids are born in 2018 2020 2022 2024 you know what I mean like my body is ready for a break and I'm just ready to just watch our kids I mean we're already watching our kids growing up and you know parenting them but just be done with that stage and I'm gonna be very very emotional after I give birth to this baby I'm just telling you guys right now like this is our last baby and so like the pregnancy part hasn't hit me yet like I know I'm gonna miss like feeling the kicks and stuff being pregnant but I'm gonna miss more like all of the baby things going through everything like this is the last birth this is the last you know like last time he's there last time I hear a baby cry there like you know what I mean doing stuff like that and I'm gonna be very emotional <laughs> yeah so I am just gonna try to take it all in and it makes me sad just thinking about it it's a lot uh but yeah that is pregnancy update and questions if I missed anything and you guys have any extra questions leave them down in the comments I will answer them I'll be doing my next update sometime when I'm like 30 something weeks I don't know 
but I really hope that you guys enjoyed this and if you did please be sure to give it a huge thumbs up subscribe if you guys would like to see more and I'll see you guys in my next video bye